Hello Lab Turtles, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to talk about the information that a chemical equation can convey. In the last video, we saw an example of a simple chemical equation. Let me balance this equation. So there are two magnesium atoms on the left and two on the right. Two oxygen atoms on the left and two on the right. We'll see how to balance a chemical equation in the next video. So let me just take a quick glance at what are the various components of a chemical equation. So these are the substances that are reacting to produce some new substance. So these initial substances are called reactants. They are called reactants. And the substance or the substances that are formed are known as products. So a chemical equation is telling us about the reactants and the products. And here we were burning magnesium. So I am sure there must be some heat required for the reaction. So we can write that on the top arrow. Another observation that was made is that magnesium burns with a dazzling white flame. So I'll just write that as well. So it burns with a dazzling white flame. What does this arrow denote? This arrow is denoting the direction of the reaction. So Mg plus oxygen give MgO and it's not the other way around. That is being denoted by this one-sided arrow. We can also talk about the states of various substances, whether it is solid, liquid, a gas or an aqueous solution. So magnesium is going to be solid. Oxygen is a gas. We all know that, right? And magnesium oxide is solid. It's a white powder. So magnesium is white in color. We can write that as well. Oxygen gas is colorless. We don't really need to write the color of oxygen gas. And magnesium oxide is a white powder. So I can write that over here. It's a white powder. So that is another information that is being conveyed by this chemical equation. So based on this, let us try and list down the many things that a chemical equation can convey. The first thing would be the reactants and the products. Second thing that a chemical equation tells us is whether the reaction is exothermic or endothermic or it tells us about the energy changes in a reaction. What do we mean by exothermic and endothermic? Exothermic reactions are the ones in which heat is produced. In these reactions, heat is produced. We also have endothermic reactions. In endothermic reactions, heat is being used up. Heat is required for the reaction. So they are basically antonyms. Exo is heat is evolved. Heat is given out. And endothermic is heat is taken in or heat is required, used up in the reaction. So that can be conveyed with the help of a chemical equation. And heat is generally, instead of writing heat, we can just denote it with a triangle. The third thing that a chemical equation conveys is the reaction conditions. Some of the reactions take place 
only under special conditions of temperature pressure etc so this information can also be denoted on the arrow when we are writing a chemical equation the next thing that a chemical equation can tell us is whether any catalyst or inhibitor is being used for the reaction a catalyst is a substance that increases the rate of the reaction it makes the reaction faster so catalyst increases the rate of the reaction while an inhibitor slows down the reaction it decreases the rate of the reaction so this thing can also be mentioned on the arrowhead of a chemical equation another thing would be the states of various substances states of various substances how can we do that we just saw in the above example where magnesium was solid magnesium oxide was also solid while oxygen gas is a gas so what are the various states one is solid solid can be denoted by s then we have liquid which can be denoted by l next we have gas gas can be denoted by g and we have another state we'll understand that now which is aqueous state aqueous is denoted by a q so what is aqueous state whenever a substance is dissolved in water we call it as a aqueous substance and it forms an aqueous solution so aqueous is something which is dissolved in water so that's all for today i hope you understood the various things that can be represented by a chemical equation we'll move forward with other topics of chemical reactions and equations in the next video until then keep studying bye